This is probably what you think of when you think of retirement. You know, doing all the things that you've wanted to do your entire life and now you're retired and you can finally oh, just take that vacation. And this is what we're all fed. We gotta do our 40 years at X company and then finally we can have our time to retire. And this is one of those near and dear issues to me that pisses me off. This is what retirement actually looks like. This is what retirement looks like. This is what retirement actually looks like for people. It's just something that we've been fed to put our life on hold, to put the things that we want to do in our life on hold, to put our goals and ambitions, our happiness on hold until we finally retire. Maybe you've wanted to travel your entire life and you just haven't had the chance to do it. Now you're retired and you can finally go do it and it's gonna be great and you're gonna see all the sights that you've wanted to see, except this is what that actually looks like. If I were to ask you, what are the golden years? Most of you would probably say, oh, that's that's the time when you retire, Those those, those good years when you can finally do everything. That's why they're called the golden years. This was from a PhD study. It is generally defined as the span of time between retirement and the beginning of age imposed physical, emotional, and cognitive limitations and today would roughly fall between the ages of 65 and 80 plus. Which is really sad because when I think about the golden years, I think about like golden hour outside, you know, when you see the sun start to go down and it's really, you got those nice bright golden colors bouncing off everything. The sun goes down, it just gets more and more beautiful and then it, it, it finally crosses the horizon and it's dark. That's you when you retire. It just goes black and now you're dead. The average age of retirement now is 67 years old and the average age of death is 78 years old. That's 11 years of freedom. Work your entire life, put your whole life on hold for 11 years, maybe. Because who knows when those limitations start to set in when you need physical assistance. People are so obsessed with making it to retirement that they just let their entire life go by. If you're watching this video and you have grandparents and they finally retired and then things just kind of started to go downhill with their health, I've seen it over and over. They don't actually go and do the things that they've always wanted to do. I asked my grandpa who passed away uh, like a year ago, is there anything he wished he had done? Anything that he regretted not doing when he was younger? It was always, I wish I had traveled more, I wish I had worked less, I wish I had been with family more, and just all of those things. And when he retired, he still didn't do any of those things that he wished that he had done. If you go read about stories of people on their deathbed, yeah, I know, it's a sad topic. But not once will you find someone who says, I wish I spent more time at the office. And whenever I see people working 12, 13 hours a day, I just think to myself, why would you ever let yourself do this? And again, I'm not saying like, sometimes a job, you got bills, you gotta do what you gotta do to make ends meet. When you work your whole life around this, and then that's, you're done. Like you don't get to come back and do this again. You don't get to respawn and be like, all right, I'll just see this part of the world on my next uh, life. Like that doesn't happen. And people just let their entire life just go by. I'll save it until I'm retired and I'll finally get to do it. They just gatekeep their own happiness. Now I'm guilty of saying I want to retire early quite a bit. I've said I want to retire at 35. It's just that I want to be able to work independent of my income because I'm always going to work. I'm always going to be productive. I'm always going to be what's next. What can I do better? What can I build? And it's not that I'm unhappy or it's, it's not that I'm not content with what I have, it's just that I wanna improve. It's just my nature. If you've ever wondered about rich people, why do rich people still work? If this dude's got $40 million, like that's enough money, like, why does he still, why does he work? It's just a part of who they are. People that have money work because it's who they are. They wanna be better, they wanna improve, they work independent of the money itself. I'm sure they do host some bomb parties and they, they ball out a little bit and they, they spend and they splurge and they buy the expensive things, but they still have morning routines, they still have eating routines, they still work, they still produce. If you look at some directors in film, you know these dudes are loaded, yet they still spend hours and hours making films and movies because they enjoy it. And these guys are way past retirement age. Steven Spielberg, 73 years old. Martin Scorsese, 77 years old. James Cameron, 65 now. They could retire, they have plenty of money, but why don't they? Because they wanna work, and they'll always probably work until they can't make movies anymore. There's this idea that comes from, from Casey Neistat, I'm not gonna steal it from him. He basically said you should be doing one of two things. Figuring out what you wanna do in life and how to make a living from it, or number two, doing that thing every day. But I think most people end up in a place where they can't do that. 
they cut themselves off a little early. They have kids, they get a job, they get in debt. And some of this is just unavoidable because the first one is just so hard to figure out, figuring out what you wanna be doing and how to make a living from it. It takes time, it takes t sacrifice, and it's not spelled out at all. And it takes many, many failed attempts to finally figure out some idea of usually what you actually enjoy doing. Take a look at me. I thought I would enjoy being a mechanical engineer. No, I thought I would enjoy being a programmer. This is boring, I don't care. I thought I would try to make a little startup for like gym boxes that could deliver to your door because fitness. No, like I enjoy making content, posing questions, making people think about what they've been taught growing up. And it took a lot of failed things for me to finally get here and realize what I enjoy doing. And it's the same for anyone else. You just have to throw stuff at the wall until something sticks. And when one thing sticks, it still might not be for you. What you think you want might not be what you actually want. And I'm very guilty of this. Programming is gonna be great. I'm gonna make a huge salary. I'm gonna work remote. It's gonna be so dope coding these cool complex things I can brag, like none of that actually mattered when I got it. I didn't want it. I thought I did, I didn't want it. For most of us, it's so much easier to follow the track that leads to a job because it's laid out in front of you and it provides some sort of direction you know exactly what you have to do, go to school, get a job, work, try to enjoy life in the meantime, and then finally retire. That's when you'll be able to do those, those good things that you've been putting on hold. All I'm saying is that I think people need to quit idolizing retirement and the almighty end of no more work and instead try and put that effort towards living a good life rather than waiting to live a good life. I'm not saying that I have the solution for how people should do this either. Like I don't think everyone should be a YouTuber. I don't have a business idea to give everyone. I don't have a product idea to give everyone. I don't, I don't have that answer for you. That's something that you have to figure out for yourself. And if someone would have told me that a long time ago, that would have pissed me off too. But now having done it, it makes complete sense. I think what happens is people find a job that isn't necessarily something that they dream about and it isn't necessarily something that they hate. They just justify it as, well, that's just life. You have to do something that you tolerate so that you can do something that you enjoy. And that's just not true. You can do something that you enjoy most of the time and make a living out of it. If you can figure out how to market it and sell it, if there's a market for it. Again, the market doesn't always care about what your passion is. You wanna be a pro soccer player? Market might not give a shit about that. Gotta find something else. Or people will just take a job and say, well, the money's good and that can have an effect on your quality of life and that can enable you to kind of temporarily buy off your happiness with each paycheck until you're in debt so much and realize this isn't what you want to do every day and you wake up 45 years old thinking what have i done with my life i'm totally entrapped with these materialistic things i thought would make me happy but they didn't for more than 15 minutes when i first bought them in the end for most people their jobs are just something that they can tolerate until they can retire and I can see that, right? After doing that for 40 years, just tolerating something for 40 years, you don't want to do anything anymore because you didn't enjoy what you did for that long. And the idea of being able to sit on a beach and do nothing for the rest of your life is pretty appealing. Retirement to me is not just doing nothing. It's just being able to live life on your own terms. Like me right now doing YouTube, I would say that I'm semi-retired because I mostly I get to do what I enjoy. I get to make content and it's just... It's just totally different when you finally find something that you enjoy doing and you're not lying to yourself about it, like I was. I enjoy being a programmer because of the notoriety and the salary and the remote life, but not because I actually, you know? And I'm not saying that retirement is just doing everything that you've always wanted to do. When I say living life on your own terms, I mean within reason. I don't mean you have all the fancy, expensive, materialistic items. It just means being able to have some choice in how you wake up and spend your day. And that's what I want for everyone. And again, I don't have the solution for that, but I can tell you having choice in how you spend each and every day is a game changer. It really lets you, it sounds so hippie, but like discover who you are. I think a lot of people watched my I Wasted My 20s video and they left a bunch of comments. Well, he got this material thing and this material thing and this X amount of salary. And so I would say that's success. And I just, when you ha when you don't have money, money is everything. And when you do have money, it's not. Once you have enough money to pay your bills and you get a couple of materialistic things and you realize that just only temporarily gives you happiness, well, now you have to figure out what you really enjoy. Because now it becomes about how you spend your time and not how you spend your money. Once you have enough money to not think about how you're gonna put food on the table, pay your gas bill, electric bill, whatever it is, then you really have time to, to discover what you actually wanted in life 
besides just the basic necessities. And I really wish everyone could experience that. When I think about m what my grandparents have done with their life, it sounds so mean to say, but like I think of it as an example of what not to do. My grandpa, he worked for Lockheed for like 40, two years, 43 years, got his retirement and his pension, went on a couple cruises, and then died. Lived in the same house, didn't travel, didn't do anything crazy or outlandish. I'm not saying that you should do crazy or outlandish things, but like, I just think he put 42 years of his adult life into something so that he could have 15 years of he didn't do anything I don't I just think about that with my grandparents they just spent their entire adult lives working and then not getting anything for it and not actually chasing anything that they wanted they just put their life on hold but whatever anyways that's my rant on retirement and don't wait until you're old to finally do the things that you want to do I promise you it's worth it thanks for watching see you in the next one